Hi everyone, welcome to the next um, video from this Ivy um, and the Inky Butterfly page. Um, we have got a very pretty looking teapot today. Now I had toyed with the idea of making it match the um, teacup um, from up here, but I decided that I would do it a bit differently. I think it's quite fun to do everything a little bit different um, for you. So I had, I wasn't really sure about what colour to do, but I felt like I wanted to try something that was a bit sort of peachy coloured. I don't know why, I've just never really made that colour with my polychromos and I just thought, let's just have a go. You know, I know teapots aren't normally that colour, but then I've never seen a teapot with a crown and a flower and that sort of thing on. Sorry, I've got a pencil in my hand. Um, so I'm gonna mix actually the cream polychromos and the light flesh. It's, this one's changed name. So it's 132. I'm not sure what the new name is. I don't think my booklet has the new names. I think it's still, yeah, it's still the old names. So my set's um, older. So I'm going to start with this one, the 132, and do the areas that I want to be a little bit darker and then add the cream on top. I'm just going to see what happens. It might be a complete disaster, but I'm just going to experiment with you, having not done it before. Why not? Bit of jeopardy for you. <laughs> So I don't want it to be too hard, but this is quite a pale colour, as you can see as it goes on. And uh, I'm just going to put it in the areas I want to be really dark, and then really put just a very light touch. So uh, I'm sort of thinking leave it paler up here, where the light's going to be catching it, just like that. And uh, do the same. Now I'm just looking at the design of the teapot because I'd like to do these bits in different colours. And we've got this. Now this could be two stems, or it could be like a ribbon. Um, I think I'm going to leave it blank and I'm going to do it different colour. So I should do my, um, my sort of peachy colour up to there. And then extend beyond with a lighter touch and less layers. Obviously I want it to show up a little bit, but not too much. So I've had fun with this series already. I'm not even halfway through. I guess I'm getting close to halfway through. But uh, I hope you've been enjoying it. It's uh, It's been fun. I do love this book, actually, to be honest. Um, it's quite hard to choose a favourite from Johanna's books, I have to say. Um, but I don't know. I think because I've completed two copies of Secret Garden, it... It's not one that I would turn to for a while. You know, I've just done a lot in it. It's nothing against the specific book. It's just that I've done a lot in it. And um, Enchanted Forest, the same. I prefer it to Secret Garden. I don't know why. It's just the theme is a little bit different. We get our dragons and different things like that, which I think is quite fun. I hope you can see what I'm doing, by the way. I'm just adding bits of colour here and there. Um... I'm going to keep going with the lid as well, just in the same manner, so with a little bit more on the edge and less towards the middle. Uh, just delaying that bit because it's a bit fancy. <laughs> and uh, But Lost Ocean, I think, might have been the third or fourth book. Um, I know some people... Um, I'm going to go a bit darker under here and make this look like it's the edge of the lid and this isn't. Like that. Um, I think people found it a bit intricate, um, but um, I liked it. I'm working on my second copy. I'm just going to sharpen my cream pencil. And then Magical Jungle had a lot of big spaces in, which again for some people is a lot of putting for the opposite reason to the intricate spaces in Lost Ocean. But uh, I think it gave some people the chance. I'm going to go over all of the, this colour with the cream and then take the cream a bit further up the item and see what happens. I just want to see what sort of colour we get. I'm hoping it sort of warms it a little bit. I am going to go all the way to the edge because I don't want to leave white because we've got, we've got a white background. It might just look a bit too yellow for a peach, but I don't mind. I'm, we'll see what happens. And um, so, yes, Magical Jungle was great for people who wanted to draw in a background. But uh, for those of us that are a bit nervous about doing things like that, it was a bit daunting. But I've come. I've completed two copies of that one too and um, there was the Christmas book of course that has a whole different appeal obviously at certain times of the year it becomes much more relevant to us 
and uh, having I've completed two copies as well. It's a lovely book. It's actually a bit smaller though. There are less less pictures, but uh, never mind. Hmm. I'm 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 warming to this colour. I'm not sure it's what I was trying to achieve, but maybe that doesn't matter. And um, yeah, and then there was this one, Ivy, and it was quite different. It's obviously a storybook. It's a different shape. Um, there were more pages with smaller items on, which I think was appealing to a lot of people. And uh, we got different themes. So we got a person, i.e. Ivy, which we've not had not... We'd had a few mermaids from Johanna, but that was it really. So that was quite a novel. And uh, in fact, I've got um, some people to be colouring quite soon. It's going to be quite a challenge for me because it's not something I'm practised in. But I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm not sure. I probably have a practice before I do a tutorial, though, because, as I say, it's something I'm not familiar with. I know with this picture, I just didn't worry about practicing, but I was, even though it's something I've not tried before, I was quite confident I could pull something off, even if it wasn't um, what I was planning. I'm just going to colour right up to the top there. There we go. Now I'm going to take a slightly darker colour. I'm having a look at what we've got here. Um, we've got, um, yeah, we've got what's called medium flesh. It is number 131 for those of you who have got it under a different name. So I'm not sure what um, they're called. And I'm just going to emphasise some of the areas that I want to be significantly darker. And maybe like the edge might be more shadowed, that sort of thing. That's quite dark, isn't it? Hmm, it's darker than I thought. I pressed hard because the cream was there. I thought it wouldn't take, but it has. Well, that's quite pretty. No? Happy with that. Let's, uh, let's add a bit more of that. So I'm just going over the areas where I did the lighter colour. Darking them up a bit. Light flesh as it's called. But um, yeah, after um, Ivy, we got a few other books of this size, because this is a different shape and a different shape and size book. So we got How to Draw Inky Wonderlands, we've got 30 Days of Creativity um, in that sort of size. And uh, for me, it, they weren't quite so attractive because I'm not into my drawing. Um, I had a go, but I didn't find it as relaxing and as fun. So uh, I just do what I like, what I enjoy. And uh, I feel that about pages in the book too. You know, if you're colouring a book and there's a page that you just don't want to do, just don't do it. You know about having fun at the end of the day, it's a hobby. Right, let's have a look at that. <clears throat> Excuse me sniffing, it's, it's a lot darker here isn't it? And I think it's a bit too dark, I prefer the paleness of this. So I'm just gonna um, take my eraser and just see if I can melt that down just a tad. And you could make it all this dark if you like that colour. That's better. But for me, I prefer it a little bit paler. So I'm happy with that as a base. Now I'm just going to think about a few lines of shadow, um, more deep shadow. So I'm going to... This is the medium flesh again. Sorry, I'm sure you didn't see that. And um, under here, I'm just going to put a line sort of over the black line just slightly beyond. And along here so it just looks slightly more three-dimensional and then along the edge of the um, spout there and um, on the handles handle I should say under the lid under here because remember I was sort of thinking that this is the edge of the lid and this is like the neck of the teapot you don't have to do it that way and then hmm, maybe there. There we go. 
And now we've got to think about this design. So I'm going to do green leaves, um, be, be conventional. I think if the centre of the flower is quite a yellow, it would work well with this cream. So um, let's have a little look. Um, I don't think we'll go too mad with the yellow. Um, with a, We don't want it too orangey, I don't think. I'm just sharpening this one. So I'm thinking this um, light yellow glaze might work center I know I try to avoid always doing a yellow flower but I'm thinking this is printed on a teapot it's not um it's not supposed to look like something you know um, growing wild or whatever you know I think that's what, what where we tend to see flowers and where we get our stereotypes from now the petals I was thinking of doing I'm not sure I'm thinking orange is going to be a bit brash Ooh. Yes, this colour. This is our. Hmm, this is 191. I have a feeling that it's Venetian red. Hang on. She says dropping her H's. Hang on. I will have a look for you. Um, is it? Oh. Where's that the Venetian red? Hang on a minute. Yeah, no, this is Pompeian red. Okay. And I'm going to do the flower that I need to sharpen it a little bit. I want it really sharp. It's obviously, <coughs> excuse me, it's obviously quite a small space. So let's, uh, I tried to do it a little darker near the middle, but actually I'm thinking it's printed onto the teapot. So it might make more sense for it to be flat colouring rather than any sort of shading sorry about my coughing I've had just had my lunch had some toast as I very often do and it's a bit tickly because I haven't had my drink yet um, I thought I'd get on with recording when I was waiting for it to cool now the ribbony part here I'm thinking if we do it in a muted red as well that might work well I'm just looking at what we've got I think we've got yeah the Indian red I'm thinking might be good it's a bit of a it's not so much of a muted red it's quite a dark red but it's um you'll see what i mean and you can decide whether you think it works again i'm just putting down a even layer if i can to uh because i'm thinking it's printed on and we've got these dots and we could do those a red i'll have a think about those once we've done the rest let's let's leave it for now i want some green leaves We've got our different shades of green. We've got our um, bluey greens, which I definitely think would not work. So looking at, do we do our mid greens or olive greens? And I'm thinking the more mid green, I'm thinking this um, permanent green could be a good shade. Okay, I'm just going to give it a sharpen again. It's a little bit um, blunt. And again, um, I'm going to just do an even layer of green. Like this. There we go. Now the crown. Now again, I'm not going to do too much shading on it, so I need to think about what colour. I certainly think a warm, like a gold rather than a silver, because I think a silver isn't going to work with all those nice warm colours. Um, I think I might just go for the green gold, because it is quite goldy in colour, hence the name. Um, I don't know, green gold? Oh, there, you might see it there, just. And that you can see the colour. So I will pop it on. I don't want it to be too dark, so I'm going to put a light layer on first and see how that looks. I think that's okay. Now the two dots, I am going to go with the red from the flower petal. So that was the Pompeian red, pink. There we go. Um, I'm going to have a little look in the camera, our pot. Um, now you could add a little bit more 
darker colour on the edge of the spout, the handle and the whole thing to make it look a little more three dimensional rather than flat. The shading here helps it look a little more rounded but if you put some, a line really around the edge that helps but I'm not going to do that. I'm quite happy. I think if I fiddle any more I'm probably going to spoil it so I'm just going to leave it as it is. Um, I'm quite happy with the result. As I say the colour isn't exactly what I was aiming for but we don't really have a peach colour in our um, polychromo so I think that, uh, that that's the best I'm going to do. So uh, there we go and it's a different colour isn't it to all the other items so it's just something to uh, something different for you. So I hope that was okay. Um, I hope you're uh, looking forward to uh, tomorrow. We've got uh, Lantern or Lantern? Is that how you say it? I don't know. I, I, I just say it the way I always say it. And um, we shall have a play with fire and uh and light which will be interesting so uh thank you for watching um have a lovely day and happy coloring